All right, guys, welcome back to some more Banishers, Ghosts of New Eden. Hope everyone's all right. So we are at this hunter's camp, and there's actually quite a few things to do here. So we've got two haunting cases. We've actually got three activities as well. Um, so we might as well just start here where we are. Find the source of the spectral stains. I think we started this one a while ago and didn't finish it. Uh, oh. There are still writings on the wall. New ones from Thomas Hake. Or what's left of him. Oh, hang on, has that done something, or... Yeah, I think it has. Follow the trail, follow the trail. Uh, oh, I think the trail goes this way. I'm absolutely loving this game. Can't believe how great it is. Especially with, like, no hype around it at all. It's one of those games where it just comes out of the blue, and it is a very pleasant surprise. Squire Sincere Paris. Right, that ain't it. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. Thomas here. Run, Red! Thomas, I should have known his spectre would linger. Well, it's gone now. This is unfair. I deserve the world. A curse upon you. Hmm. My name were Rose, a flower. I became the pitiless thorn. But I did not make the world. It made me. No, let me. I want to get the egg. There we go. All I did was steal the name. Now you steal my soul. Oh, no. We're not the wrong one. Now you steal my soul. To both of us, death was a remedy. But who shall judge you, Banisher, when judgment time has come? Hmm. Nous jouons tous un rôle, mais le tien, Banisher, est de loin le plus perfide. Quite, um, it's quite. I'm trying, I'm trying to think of what the word is. These are all the people that we've put in these graves. Well, we technically haven't put them in the graves, but these are all the people from the haunting cases and stuff that we've been through. It's quite, uh, quite a sobering thought. That right, let's go and grab these other two activities. I don't want to stop playing this game. Not yet. I'm enjoying it too much. There's so much to do. Good day to you, Scudder. It's been a while. Strange. It feels like a mere moment since you killed my cousin and only friend. Yeah. Well, sorry about that. Nah. It was for the best. He'd earned it. And I've earned all this, all this guilt. I'd be fair willing to give the money back, but Credence hid it above the old cemetery, near the landslip, and the place is overrun with spectres. All right, if I can, I'll take a look. I'd be grateful, sir. I surely would. 
and I trust you'll not be tempted to keep it. Good day to you, sir. And a good day to you, sir. Well, I don't know about that. Dirty money. Get the payroll money. Uh, this way, yeah. I still find it mad how big the game actually is when you think about it. Ah, yes, I know where we are. I think. Spectres. Follow my voice. Oh, really? Oh, they are packing a punch. What the hell? Try this on for size. Holy shit, they did a fair bit of damage to me. Oh, I'm ready to shoot the infested. The stolen payroll. Beloved may have it back. Or not. We'll see. Saw this chest out the corner of my eye. Right, so talk to Beloved Scudder. And then as well, what else do we got to do? This one as well back at camp. Um no way. Oh, shit. They're feeding off their own rage. I think I used to coat my wolf kills on one hand. Oh, you are kidding me. Standing by. I'm getting out of here without a fight. Get out of there. I kind of wouldn't want to give him that money back, but I feel like it's better in my pocket than his, to be totally honest. Get me some upgrades and that. Buy us a few nice shiny things. Oh, there's more gravestones. Right, I'll go and talk to Beloved Scudder first, and then I'll go and pick up this other one. Might as well finish this one off. I'll progress it. I don't know if this is going to be the ending. Good day to you, Mr. McCraith. Did you find the money? Oh, do I be a bastard? Do I be a bastard and keep it? Yeah, I'm keeping it. I did, but I'll keep it. The train band are owed their pay. Yes. Of course. I'm glad it's not lost. A small amend, but it has meaning. Thank you, sir. Good day to you, sir. And a good day to you, sir. Well, 
he wasn't really that uh, bothered about parting with it, was he? So I don't feel too bad. A moment, Banisher. I wondered if you'd render me a service. Paid, of course. What do you need? I needed Arthur Carty. But with that, you've helped enough. No, I need iron. The rest you can get. I'm running out. I'm reusing what I can, but I've scoured the camp and there is no more. I could search the woods, but we need nails and we need them now. I cannot leave the camp, but you can. For a fee, of course. Aye, maybe I can. For a fee, of course. I heard Fort Jericho used to have a blacksmith. Perhaps you'll find some there? Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eaton. Thanks for nothing, Banisher. Yeah, what? Thanks for nothing, cheeky bit. Find quality iron for Nelly. She did say about going to Far Jericho, so that's quite a trek for me, I thought. Uh, right. Home lies where the heart lies. Yeah. Oh, we'd already started that. So definitely might as well finish this one. Wait, what's that chest? I not really just run past that the entire time. That's crazy. We're closed. Jane. Banisher. Is this your store? Yes, it is. Now that Squire Paris has walked on. Ah. I take it he hasn't just gone for a stroll. Can I ask what happened? He died. I was out hunting, and when I came back, his spirit had gone. It was wrong to leave him to die alone. His ghost now haunts you. But you know that, right? Leave his spirit alone, Banisher. It's no small thing to be haunted. It's no small thing to be dead. The Squire has always protected me. That's more than I can say for most people. Now I'll do the same for him. Dear Jane, too kind. Paris, I presume. You presume correct. Squire sincere Paris, or what's left of him. I'm a banisher, you know. I could help you, both of you. That's what I do. I don't know. This is new to me. Jane stands by me, though I'm dead. Oh, remarkable woman. You've only ever stood by me. Now, banisher, we have work to do. As I'm sure do you, elsewhere. Leave the shop. <laughs> Easy as that, eh? You there, a word if I may. We must talk. I think he means you. Wonderful. Go on then. One goes to another. Your rigging says you are, or were, a banisher, correct? Correct. I'm Antea Duarte, and this is Red McRaith. What can we do for you? As I'm sure you're aware, someone, somewhere, has made a mistake. Several mistakes, in fact. Oh, I... Yes. I'm not supposed to be dead, and even if I were, I shouldn't be here talking to you. I seem to be haunting Jane. I'd like to employ you to do whatever it is you do and send me on my way. Do you have any unfinished business that could be keeping you here? Business was my trade. <laughs> Trade was my business, but I'm not here because of unsold stock. I must be here for Jane. She is, was, my bodyguard. The contract was informal, but we obeyed it to the letter. For my part, for years I helped to track a group of mercenaries known as the Hummingbirds. Go on. I'd rather not. Jane's proudly pinnacle, and the story is her own. She'd tell it to you before she tells your man. She doesn't much trust white men. I'm shocked. Keep talking. 
Before we left New Eden Town, Jane had a secret. She was working on a map. I suspect she was up to something dangerous. Unfinished business. I'd like to see that map. If you look behind me, you'll find her quarters. Be discreet. I've betrayed her trust enough. Paris is hiding something. Check the register in the safe. Jane doesn't trust her boss. We should poke through the squire's books. Here, there's going to be hard. She's very defensive about that particular patch of forest. Like you with the blanket when the night is cold. How do you rebuild a life after such horror? With help. The Squire Paris seems willing. I wonder about the epidemic. Was it a local disease or something else? I need the key. Not a key. We're not opening that without a key. Shouldn't be hard to find. No keys here. Hmm. I thought I saw something shiny. Jane. Banisher. I'll leave you then. Good day. Where would a key be? Maybe if I ask. Well, since the uh, oh, I can't even talk. Ah! Aha! Nope. That is it. <laughs> Jump the gun there. Um. No, oh, it's telling us the keys in here. Oh, wait a minute. I wouldn't have kept a key here. You probably would. Oh, that's not it. Oh. There. The Squire's archives. Paris had traded with the Pennacook, Jane's people. Maybe he thought he'd make a profit on her. He's the type. Don't be so cynical. That's my job. Certificate of Inentured in Servitude. Squire Paris bought Jane's freedom, then hired her as his bodyguard. That was generous of him. This contract is the ghost tie. Right. We should talk to the Squire. What now? 
You traded with the Penacook, Jane's people. As I traded with many of the tribes. How do you think I met Jane? Does she know you traded with her people? She does not, and I like it that way. Best not to wake the sleeping dog. Soon I shall be gone, and all this shall be history. Unwritten and forgotten. You took her into your employ. Why? Jane was to be sold, sent overseas as a slave. It pulled my heart. I could not allow it. So I bought her at auction and gave her her freedom. The irresistible river of commerce could, I thought, flow on without her. Hummingbird mercenaries massacred Jane's people. She likely seeks revenge. Ah, right. You don't seem surprised. Why do you think we came to a backwater like New Eden? She knew the hummingbirds had been here. I wonder if it's this that's keeping you here. Yes, of course. It must be. Right. That's her. Can I go now? Jane wants revenge on the mercenaries who killed her people. Maybe that's why you're still here. Give us something to work with, Paris. Ah, Jane had a cache of weapons in the wood. The fiery grove, as she described it. I presume it to mean that the trees there are... Autumn red. Arms in the woods. Red leaf trees. Noted. We'll take our leave, Squire Paris. I'll set up shop by my graveside. You'll find me there. Find Jane's hunting tower. Let's find this fiery grove. She. Let's have a look on the map. Uh, oh, we do actually have a campfire closer to there. So, means to kill the hummingbirds. Hell of a mission for one person alone. Sincere's attitude is definitely strange, and not only for his constant whining. Uh, right. This one. The only problem is sometimes when you go to a fast travel point like this, you're like either too high or too low. You're not actually on the right path that you need to be on. But I think we might be all right here. Jane's fiery grove. Let's search around. Yeah, let's go this way. Don't know why, just... Who's that? Yes. Something's here. Hunting Tower. Aha! There it is. This must be Jane's watchtower. Oh, shit. Think you could take on a ghost? Run, Red!
gonna be more enemies I know there is. Still impressive. Peaceful. No wonder she kept it to herself. A haven where one can mourn and scheme. I won't want to. One day you shall have it, and we can scheme in it together. She's an artist. That makes her doubly dangerous. X marks the spot. Three times in that case. Jane tracked the mercenaries to the swamps. And here's the cash. There's enough powder and shot here to bring down an elephant. Or a flock of hummingbirds, perhaps. I could have sworn I'd already investigated that. She suffers alone. Reminds me of me upon a day. Hmm. She glories in the killing. You are not the same. There's a thing down there. Nope. Uh The reticle's red! Oh, whatever. Right, what are we missing? We're missing something. Let's try back up here again. to kill them all with the help of squire sincere paris yeah. more spectre mess for us to clean up right how far away is this then where's this at now ah oh we got another Oh, I know where that is. Where we saw old, old Mosshead. Let's go do a little scouting. Right, well, at least I can travel there. Just got to get back to our campfire. <laughs> it was up this way. Yes, I think, I hope. Yeah, and then across the bridge, yeah. Right, where are we going? Mm, this one. Where this where's the camp at then? <laughs> oh, oh, what oh, oh. can I, there we go. It's already it's in here. Like I say, where we saw our old mosses. Bird watching. Crimson hummingbird should stand out. Oh nice. 
Uh, unbounded. I command you to leave now. Wind chimes. Damage dealt by red nan tears increased by 30%, but health point gains are reduced by 50. That's not bad, though. Mm, I don't think it's as good as that, though. Equilibrium, I feel like that's better. And that's a pretty solid piece of gear that I've got on right there. Right, I've no idea where I'm going in this camp. The symbols are down there, though, on those things. The humming bird symbols. Or it might just be here. Watch out. Spectre position. No, you don't. They never learn, do they? Look at the little birdie. Up there. Just follow the symbols. Oh, we got a heart thing here. The roots won't remain visible for long after I take the heart. Be quick. Right, hold on a minute because I can see one down here like there's a thing to hit. Yeah, right. is that <laughs> oh glutton that expect to see it corpse and it wants it for its own Here we go. They never learn, do they? Come on, Antia. I have another in sight. Move it. Oh shit, possessed it. Bastard. Make a run for it. <laughs> he hit his own guy. Oh shit. Piss off. Off. This explains the abandoned loot. 
Ah, it does. I... One and the blanket cargo is infected with smallpox and handling must be avoided. The cargo is to be sold on July 21st. Hmm. Smallpox infected blankets to be sold. The penna cook was sick. Smallpox. That's crazy. I found something. Uh, need a win. Here we go. <laughs> nice. Don't come alive. Oh, this is the other side of the door. Where our fire is. Old letter. Boverger. Boverger? Bov I don't know how you say that. It is now three days since the news of your troops' attack reached me. Three days of disgust. Three sleepless nights before I find the strength to express my revulsion. What you did is so far beyond the pale it is in the deep blue Atlantic Sea. Yeah, that is that is so immoral and uh, downright wrong. From Squire Paris's books. Overze. Sincere Paris knew the mercenaries who massacred Jane's people. And what they did seems to have horrified them. Squire Paris traded with the mercenaries. It's bad, but it's not the full story. I wonder what Jane knows about this. If she doesn't know it yet, when she hears it, she'll be furious. We need to investigate further. Now we've still got more to do then. Um. Well, it looks like not here. So, question is, now where are we going? Cargo inventory. Hospital blankets, origin undisclosed. Must be handled with care. Disease ridden blankets should be burned. These were sold on. Like a bullet fired at a target. We should talk to Squire Paris. Alright, now we've got all the clues we needed. Time to go back. Back to the hunter's camp, I'm guessing. Yeah. Right, here we go. Confront Sincere. Over near his grave. What now? Your hands are drenched in Pennacook blood. The hummingbirds gave you pox riddled blankets to sell to Jane's people. You knew what you were doing and did it anyway. The hell you say? 
You hid the truth from Jane. I helped her track the men who killed her people. But you hid the part you played in the massacre. Why were the Pennacook attacked? There was to be no attack. The pox was intended to force them from the land, that's all. The rules of fair play do not apply in love and war. Doubly so in business. This is why you linger. You deny your guilt. That binds you to Jane. Business is business. Guilt can't come into it, or a man would never turn a profit. Guilt can hang. I didn't know the hummingbirds would attack the camp. Soon as I learned they had, I, I cut all ties. The only survivor was enslaved. You bought her title and set her free. A cheap salve for your troubled conscience. Read it how you will, Mistress Banisher. Now the truth is out. May I go? It's not so simple. You knowingly sold infected blankets to Jane's tribe. She'll have to hear it. What? No! No! She must not know! I've made amends for years. She's had my help. You can't tell her. Please don't tell her. Sincere Paris sold the blankets to the tribe. I'm ill at the thought. Did the squire buy Jane's freedom to assuage his own guilt? That's so disgusting. He didn't feel too guilty to profit off her labor. All of him. Unforgivable. Time to lay it all out for both of them. I'm sure they'll both be fine with it. <laughs> really is unforgivable. Like, that is one of the most sickest things someone could do. To knowingly do that is disgusting. Jay! Don't listen to him. This is a misunderstanding. You have to come clean, Paris. What is going on here? This is your chance, Paris. The truth, my friend. The truth now. Have I not always been there for you? Tell me. I did not think they would attack you. They swore it was not the plan. Now, I helped you wreak vengeance upon them. Every last one. Every last one but you. I need no banisher. The spirit of Squire Sincere Paris is mine. Anything to add, Paris? Nothing to add. My downfall is complete. Now, do what you do, and send me on my way. Why did you work with the Hummingbird mercenaries? I'm a merchant. I trade. Business is business. Money is money. Blood money. All money is blood money. Especially here in the shiny new world. All money is blood money. I'm afraid right now it falls to us to end the story. Well, you know what we're going to do? Jane, you thirst for vengeance, but New Eden has enough ghosts. We don't need you making more of them. Do what you will, but sell me no lies. For I see you, white man. Just one more greedy devil making profit from our murder. A curse upon your name, Red McRaith. A curse upon your spirit. May your seed wither and your blackened heart burn. Aye. Seems likely. I'll take no pleasure here, but I'll look you in the eye. I owe us both that much. You... You bastard! You and me both, Paris. You and me both. white man and the blood on my hands will bring them joy
These haunting cases, man. Unbelievable. Oh. Ephemeral good stores key. Is that this thing? Yes, it is. Right. What's on the agenda? Got another haunting case. What is that? Still a Roman, are we? Aye, and still asking questions. You seem worried. More than usual, I mean. Since you did for Evelyn, we have no doctor. Sadly, it had to be done. Is there anything I can do to help? They may have medicine at Fort Jericho. You could bring it to us. If they'll spare it, I'll do just that. Well, that's actually quite good, because I've got to make a double trip up there anyway for that iron. Thank you for your time. Farewell, Kate Newsmith. A goodbye to you too, Red McWraith. And whatever it is you seek, may you find it. Right. For medicinal purposes. Search for medical supplies at Fort Jericho, and I've also got to go and get iron, so... Two for the price of one, are you? Any upgrades? No. Let's have a look at skills quickly. Oh, we got four for Antia. Um, defeating an enemy with Antia restores 5% health points. Yes, please. Defeating enemies while in fusion restores 20%. Defeating an enemy with a charged heavy attack. Oh, yeah, because I'm always doing that. 100% that's worth it. Um, when fusion ends, spirit points are fully restored. Damage dealt by Antair is increased by 15% for each manifestation in cooldown. Ooh. That's really tough because they're both really good. Try that one. Um, man. Leap damage is increased by 50%, 150%, but the leap cooldown is increased as well. I'm happy with them. Right, Fort Jericho, here we come. Uh, actually got a few, a few things around here as well. Right. Search for medical supplies. Something smells dead. The infirmary, perhaps. Follow your nose. Now we know where the stench came from. Where the hell would... We already came here for that uh, haunting case before. Turns out they didn't care then either. Nobody deserves that. Not even Con Peabody. I said we were already aware of all of this. Um, deliver the medical supplies. Right. Well, there's one thing done already. Um... Now we need iron. Where's the blacksmith? To Sebastian Priest, hero of the people, the just man shall be in rest. Let me just activate that. If I can. Uh... Maybe I can't.
There we go. Banishes. Good day. You look well, Mrs. Priest. We struggle on. But yes, I feel better. By any chance, might you have anything useful in your inventory to sell? Have a look and decide for yourself. Not got any iron, have you? Aha! Take care of yourself, Helen. I will. No one else seems to want to. That's quite bleak. Right. I need to go back to the hunter's camp, but first... Oh, I kind of want to go up there, but that is a long way. Um... Look like I've not even been here. Recover Theodore's affairs. I haven't been in this whole area. I've been in this area. I've been in this area. It's just crazy. 32% of the world done. Mad. Destructible wall there that I could have opened up in some sort of underground location over here. I mean, this game easily it's got to be what? Platinum 50 hours, 60 hours maybe? Definitely getting your money's worth. I will say that. Right, I'll go towards this one. Uh, oh, where are you telling me to go, game? You keep changing your mind. Oh, wait, is this one where that... To find that map? I think it... I think it's to find treasure, isn't it, this one? Or maybe I'm... Maybe I'm tripping. No, I'm wrong. Oh shit. Move, Red. Or was this the activity? It's like this spectral nest is just waiting for my intervention. Um I think it's I always get these confused. I think it's Make Manifest. Yes, it is. They brought more friends. Shit. Don't let that specter get to the corpse. Watch out. Spectre position. Did we miss a few? Well, I'm doing more damage. Oh, more damage when Red's full health. Would help if I read, wouldn't it? There's a tough one. Go. Oh. Come on, why does it feel like it's taking ages to go down? Your funeral! Oh shit. Shit, where's Ann? Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, this looks hard. Where the corpse is this hard? Oh, what the fuck? This is so annoying because I need to take Anne out first. But that's like practically impossible how much health it's got. That one is shielded. Oh, what the fuck? I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm stuck. I'm dead. Stop him, bastard. This is ridiculously hard. Like, I feel like I'm not powered up enough to do this. I'm not even doing any damage to him. Shake that one. I'm not doing enough damage at all. I'm here, damn it. I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. How on earth am I still alive here? I'm impressing myself with how long I've managed to survive. Yeah, that was, that was never, ever happening. Never happening. That was ridiculous. Like, there's absolutely no way I'm leveled up high enough to fight that. Uh, right. Well, I guess we just go and turn these in. Um, how the bloody hell do I get back where I was? I swear. That was just rock hard, that. Like, I just could not... I could not do any damage at all. And then I was trying to focus on three enemies at once. Or be aware of three enemies at once. That was just not ideal. Need to get some of me gear maxed out. I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for the materials that I need. Because I do want to get one of me. I'd like me armor to go up to max or. or me weapon. Would be pretty nice. Anyway. Let's go and turn these little activities in. Back to the hunt. Actually, let's have a quick look. So. Oops. Here we go. So, to get it to Relic, I need Waxy Cap Agaric. That's not even that hard to get either. That's, like, quite commonly found. So, if I just went to the, the Harrows, I'd be able to find the rest of that. What about me armor? Same. Oh, it's, is it all the same for each stage? No, it's not. That needs Mossy Polypore. And three elite gems. Oh, well. At least we kind of know. Right. Hunter's camp. Oh, wait. What's that? Oh, that's the main mission. Right. Quality iron. Hey, ya. Uh, don't say I never give you nothing. Good day, Nelly. 
the Banisher, vanquisher of monsters. I had to dig a little, but I found you some iron. Will it do? It will have to. Your fee. By the by, I found an old sword Fortune had started to craft. I'll finish the work. It's yours, if you have the coin. Let's trade, Mrs. Eaton. Well, let's have a All look. Right. Let's. Oh, look at that armor. Marauder armor. I want that. Parrying increases the damage of the next light attack. I, mean, I don't even really parry that much in this game, but I'll buy them. Oh, hang on. She's selling that agaric. I might as well just buy all that. Ooh. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eaton. Thanks for nothing, Banisher. She's cheeky fond, eh? I just went all the way up to Fort Jericho for it to get her that iron. Right, I should be able to max out a weapon now on my armor. Oh, what's going on here? I've brought you medical supplies from Fort Jericho. Really? Thank you. I can't tell you how much we need them. Glad I could help. Let's trade, shall we? What have you got, Kate? What's that? Mysterious cash. Oh, I might as well have it. Thank you for your time. Farewell, Kate Newsmith. A goodbye to you too, Red McWraith. And whatever it is you seek, may you find it. Hmm. Right. Well, there's medicinal purposes done. Let's go to the camp by yet. And I want to see if I can actually fully upgrade now. That would be a nice way to end. Here we go. Oh, let's go. Uh, do you know what, though? I kind of want to... That looks mad. Let's see how far I can go with that. I'm going to end up using... Oh, I don't have... Right, no. I want to max... I want to max something out, so... Oi, oi. Perfect tool. Upgrade Nightmare at rank 7. Let's go. Oh, that looks mint. I love that. I love that rarity sign. Now I don't have any more Garrick. Never mind. I kind of want to... I kind of want to wear that other armour. That physical resistance could be massive. Obviously, it's going to need upgrading. Because it's not good enough at the minute. But that could be big. Right, nest silt. That armor could be big. I actually quite like it. That is pretty... I do like that armor, you know. That is pretty good. Right, anyway, guys. We're going to leave it there for now. So, thank you so much for watching, as always. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you wouldn't mind dropping a like on the video and subscribing to the channel if you're new around here as well. It really helps us out a lot. But other than that, I hope wherever you all are, you are having a wonderful day. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.